Okay, so here we are. Yeah, you guys have all seen the videos probably. Uh, this is the barn door on my 6x12. And what I got to do is uh, uh, the bike will go, goes in on this door right here when I open it up. But what I want to do is I want to weld up some C-channel. And uh, then I'm actually going to bolt it to the cross members under here. And I'll be able to slip the ramps in about about right here. And uh, they'll just stick out a latch and be able to pull them out. So i got plenty of clearance under here since I flipped the axle. So you can see. So I'm really... Uh, I'm just going to go into the garage and I'm going to cut some uh, one inch tubing and uh, put some flanges on it and just bolt it right to the cross members. So we'll see how that works out. But this is where it's going to go. It's going to go up underneath there. That way uh, when I travel, I won't forget the ramps like I did last time. Okay, so these are the ramps that I use with my uh, 6x12 cargo trader with the barn doors. Uh, basically, these are uh, I got these at Harbor Freight, and these are those uh, aluminum, about five and a half feet long here. Um, and uh, there, there was the tri-fold ones. This folds open. There was another one. You can see where I took it off the hinges here. I didn't need that full width. But I do like the double width so I can take the bike up on one side and I can walk on the other if I need to. It's just more stable that way. Anyway, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take... Uh, Take some uh, one inch angle iron and uh, got some right over here and uh, right here and this and I'm going to uh, obviously measure this all out get it about the right height and I'll make a C channel and uh, I'll put these on the edges of it uh, so I can bolt it in underneath so anyway that's my uh, that's my job for today I'm just gonna make two brackets the things relatively light I just need to hold it under the camper Anyway, so uh, let me get started. We'll see how it's going to work out. Okay, here I, uh, I'm going to use my portable bandsaw. I'm going to cut this tubing. Now, I won't bore you with uh, all the cuts I made, but this is just kind of how it goes and how I did a few of them. You see, after the second cut there, I grabbed the yellow rag. That's because the friction of that saw blade gets that metal pretty hot. In any case, uh, it won't take me long to get all that done. All right, as I continue here, I, uh, I just got all the uh, the C channel kind of laid out here with the magnets. And what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to take the welder and tack this. Uh, then I'll go back and actually do the completed welds and, and, and make it look good. But uh, first part up here is just to tack weld it. I'm going to avoid showing you all the welding here so I don't blind you. But basically, I go through and I got to build two of these just like this. Okay, well I got the first bracket built, um, so I just put these tabs on it here, I'm going to get around here, basically uh, just bolt it down onto the, onto the frame underneath, so it's kind of just a C bracket, I got to build another one identical to that, and uh, I'll bolt it up, see how it fits. Alright, so this is what I ended up with, I got the uh, C brackets mounted under here. You can see uh, where I just bolted them up on the little feet I put out from the brackets. And so I made two brackets, one here uh, right at the end, about six inches inset from the back of the trailer, and then the other one, uh, the first cross member before the axle. You can see where the ramp extends up over the axle there. I have plenty of clearance, so there's no issues there with that uh, axle hitting that or anything. But anyway, it makes a good clean storage here. I shouldn't be forgetting the ramps at home anymore, but basically this is just base uh, one inch uh, tube and uh, weld it up in the formation of a C uh, with the correct dimensions to fit the ramps and little feet I welded on there. But uh, I did actually just put those on with bolts. I did not weld them on. They could come off if I need to. In any case, here we are. All right, 